Hi guys, this is Fiona. Um, I just wanted to do a, another tutorial for my um, for a design team project on my group mixed media tutorials on mixedmediaworkshops.com. And for this one, we'll be doing an image transfer using Gesso. Now this works best with a, uh, a laser image. You can use inkjet images as well, which I'll show you later on, um, because I tr also tried out an inkjet image and um, just a piece of um, patterned paper, craft paper. Um, the one that I'm doing now though is an image out of a magazine and um, photos and images out of magazines work really really well so what you need to do is to cover your substrate with gesso white gesso um, you can also do this with acrylic paint by the way which uh, I'll do another video and show you how that turns out um, so you need to layer the uh, the gesso quite quickly because you don't want it to dry before you um, put the image down on the top so cover your page or your substrate in a fairly thick layer of gesso um, sort of like as if you were buttering toast or buttering bread and then put a thick layer also over your image And you need to, sorry about the TV in the background by the way, I hope it's not um, making it hard for you to hear what I'm saying. Uh, I should have muted it, sorry about that. Um, just put your image face down on the top and now you'll need to burnish your image really well. Uh, you can use an old credit card or a palette knife or a burnishing tool. I like to use the back of a spoon as you can see here. You need to burnish it really really well because that is going to determine how well your image turns out um, and what you're doing is you are ironing out all the bubbles, the air bubbles, so that the whole image is covered and soaked in the gesso. Um, also what determines uh, a good image transfer is uh, letting the letting the uh, gesso dry enough. Um, I had a bit of trouble with my image when I rubbed it off. I, I, I rubbed some of the image off as well but you'll see but uh, I wasn't too worried for these purposes because um, it's just a demonstration and I wasn't really going to use it but um, you really need to let your gesso dry really really well so I'm a little bit impatient and I just I, dry, I dried mine with a um, heat tool and um, you know, obviously didn't dry it quite enough it's probably better to leave it overnight leave it to the next day or yeah just make sure it's perfectly dry and also I'm using my art journal here and the paper's quite thin and uh, when you rub the image um, you'll see when I when I do this but when you when you rub it off you're um, you don't want to rub too hard um, if the paper underneath is kind of thin. So here we go now. Um, my gesso is dry. Uh, so I'm going to um, get a spray bottle of water. And my cat likes to join in too, by the way. <laughs> um, spray bottle of just water 
spray it on and start rubbing rubbing away the top layer so you need to make sure the paper is saturated don't rub too hard because uh, you can um, rub the bottom layer off as well if you rub too hard and the gesso isn't quite dry enough but if you do this properly if you make sure it's dry um, use a solid substrate like a thick watercolor paper or a, um, a canvas obviously or a wood wooden board um, it will work really really well and this uh, type of image transfer unlike using gel medium uh, by the way you can do exactly the same thing as I'm doing now with gel medium um, you can do it on the canvas or a wooden substrate or watercolor paper or, or whatever surface you like um, it will be a, a, a if with gel medium sorry it will be a transparent image so you can do it over the top of another image and still see the layers underneath but with using gesso it's anything that's under and underneath is going to get covered up so unless you're using clear gesso I'm using white gesso here uh, the, whatever's underneath will get covered up so um, it's probably a better a, a method that's better to use as a bottom layer as whatever you want for your first layer so here I am rubbing off uh, the backing paper or the back side of the page and you can see that the image is starting to appear in the bottom left hand corner there there was a little stamp on the corner of the image and that's come out really quite clear it's a fairly lengthy process but you just need to be patient with it you know some people would say why can't you just um, stick the image on the page and start working that way well because if you want your image to be sort of look like it's more part of the painting rather than stuck on um, image transfer is the way to go and uh, because what you're left with on the gesso is the actual ink the ink actually transfers into the gesso and so it, it becomes more part of your painting rather than a separate uh, collage type thing it takes a while at first uh, if your paper is really thick it'll take even longer to to rub it away but once once you've done it you'll you it'll be really crisp and clear you get a really good um, a really good transfer with gesso especially with a laser laser image or a magazine image and if you if you've only got an inkjet printer uh, the best way to get a laser image is to go to your local library or somewhere where they do photocopies and use a photocopier um, because that will be a laser image
and you can see in the corner there that I've rubbed a little bit too hard and I've got a bit of a white a uh, bit of a hole there where you can see the page underneath I may just speed this up so that um, you don't have to watch me for the next five minutes rubbing the page so um, just hold on guys and I'll be back Okay, so here is my final image after rubbing all the paper off. Um, it turned out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, when you put your hand over it and feel it, it's actually really, really smooth. It gives a really nice finish. And because it's gesso, you can just paint over or do whatever you like. Now, the one here with the cat's eyes, that was my inkjet transfer. Um, you can see that some of the ink has run. It does work, but some of the ink ran there. And this is the um, patterned paper. Um, I was actually surprised that turned out really, really well because you can see the back there, that yellowish colour, and the front was the, the, the tartan pattern. So that's transferring with gesso. Thanks for watching, guys.